Hello everyone, I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome to I'm on Observation Duty 6. This was an inevitability, considering how much I enjoy these types of games. Uh, it was only a matter of time until I played the sixth one, and I did say that I'd wait until hard mode was out, and that we'd played some on stream, and we have done that. I haven't done every level yet, but I've done enough to be able to get the, the general idea. <laughs> so we're going to jump in. And sh so hopefully we'll do okay. <laughs> I don't know how well I'll do considering um, without chat's help, I don't always notice things. So we'll see. We're going to go on the train. Now, will I do all the levels on both normal and hard? I don't know. That would be like 12 videos. So maybe. Locals have reported large quantities of anomalous events happening at the location. The epicenter seems to be a parked locomotive at the center of the railway station. A body was found inside the train. We have not yet been able to identify the body due to the extreme damage caused to it by what appears to have been a gigantic blunt instrument, wielded with immense strength. Strange mumblings resemble no known language has been heard from the train. Numerous passengers have reported luggage disappearances and leaving the train with items they did not enter the train with. <clears throat> okay, so we have the passenger car, the private car, the sleeping car, dining car, toilets, and the driver's seat. And you know the, you know the rules, and so do I. Say goodbye. We're basically just going to be looking for changes. Hopefully I'll remember everything. In terms of like set layout though, this isn't too bad, right? I remember one of the big complaints about this game when it first came out is that a lot of places seemed simple. And now I don't have reference for what it was beforehand because I waited before I picked this up. And uh, I have been told since that a lot more items have been added. But also that hard mode is not really all that well received because it basically is the, it, it's a case of like what they consider hard is less obvious changes, right? So like sometimes you'll have very obvious like, oh, this moved from one table to another. Whereas hard mode, apparently, instead of just increasing the amount of anomalies that happen, um, it does actually make it so that the changes are more slight than usual. And that is, I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> oh, I thought we'd missed a camera already. But yeah, chances are something's changed already. The reporting system is different in this one. It actually takes a note from Para Eyes that to report an anomaly, you will, you know, go to an area of interest. You will hold down the click and it will scan it and be like, oh, you know, anomaly found or no anomaly found. Some do require you to right click, which will bring up a different menu. But uh, those are very rare occurrences. I say rare. They, oh, you know, <laughs> an abyss in the bathroom the abysses look really cool now like overall quality of the experience right very good i think that graphically it's a big step up i like how kind of like color graded everything is um it's almost like black and white but not really and it's kind of cool and i like the set pieces a lot but in terms of <clears throat> you know, the detail of the environments and like what it changes is kind of not as good. I'm still only four levels in, in this particular one. And I don't know. I think five is still my favorite. Five just had a lot of good stuff in it. There is one mechanic in hard mode that I enjoy though. Um, And I don't know how much I want to like reveal ahead of time considering i'm likely going to show it off but you basically get like a pun uh, like a penalty for guessing incorrectly but it's not like five where it's a permanent thing like if you continue to guess incorrectly you don't just lose but it does give like a reboot you have to do a reboot of the system and it makes it so that you know that's obviously time wasted 
And I do like that. That's a cool way of doing it. Uh. <clears throat> no! Oh my god, you're making a mess. Can't believe you. Also, I've been, like, having a look at old footage of, like, old observation duty stuff. And, like, the length of certain animations are way quicker in the old games. Like, fixing anomalies and that, and, like, reporting anomalies. Way snappier back in the day. I don't know why, or, like, what is the driving force for having certain things or like certain lengths of certain things like the the clearing anomaly screen was there something missing here i don't think there is but it could be that i'm thinking something can appear there but it's not there right now which is making me think it what it, it was removed but it's not Though I definitely feel like I'm not catching something right now. Considering we're almost an hour in, in the game time anyway. And uh, I've only caught two things, which usually isn't the case. Oh, there we go. I thought the chair had moved earlier, but it's moved now. There we go. Noise. Though I definitely like how the assets and various pieces of it have been getting better over time. Like, in general, the presentation of the Observation Duty games have gotten way nicer. And I imagine that's just because, you know... More people have been buying them and playing them and they've become kind of like a collection in itself. Though I will complain about the fact that this one is quite a bit more expensive than the others. And for ultimately being kind of like a not as good experience. <laughs> and you can get basically one, two, three, four and five for almost how much this one costs. I don't know. Seems a bit unfortunate really. I like this, like, don't get me wrong, right? Like, I might be criticizing a little bit, but, uh, yeah, this is, uh, not, not you know, it's, it's just good. I like it. I enjoy it. It's just, it might be a little bit much for some people, which is understandable. And, you know, especially when you kind of, when a lot of people have set a certain, kind of like expectation when it comes to these kind of games. Uh, has this moved? Okay, I thought that had. <laughs> Am I going insane? No, it's moved. <laughs> it's not me, it's you. Am I out of touch? No, it's the game that's wrong. You're out of touch. I'm out of touch. I've only just noticed now that these that face is the guy from... Which one was it? The second one? Oh, blah, 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 blah. So you're pouring, you're pouring a nice pint of face. <laughs> like what? Feels like nothing's happening right now. Are you, are you okay? Are you sad? Were you sad before? I guess so. Sad. <laughs> this little looks okay. Ah, but <laughs> steam and smoke in the driver's car. <laughs> Woo!
Damn, we didn't start the fire. I still feel like these games could use some sort of ambience. Like, even if it's toggle blah 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 You know, just like, something. <laughs> it's always a little bit too quiet, you know? Well, that could be also because I have my volume down from something I recorded earlier. But even still... <laughs> Was either of these things normal? I think this one is. I don't know about the back one. Okay, no, I suppose that is normal. Okay. Is that meant to be lit? The other one isn't, but this is a door one. The other one is a, a window. <laughs> Emergency exit. Dive out the window. Now reached two. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Wait, do I report it this way or do I do a light anomaly? Okay. Turn out that light. We might see something I haven't seen before. Who knows? That is one of my favorite things, or why I like going back to the old Observation Duty games, is that, like, you know, you don't know if you've seen everything. Which I think, I think, in these games going forward, it would be nice to see a catalog of changes that you can find. Like, you have to successfully report them to unlock them in some sort of catalog that allows you to know if you've seen everything. And I think that'd be cool. Obviously, that would defeat the air of mystery in terms of like, oh, you know, have I seen everything? So I'm going to replay it again. <laughs> but yeah, it would be nice to have some sort of like catalog of found anomalies. Because that way I could like go and see if I've seen everything and that'd be cool. I've been kind of spoiled with uh, Midnight Monitor's, like, curated anomaly list as well. Kind of gives me a nice variety of things to look forward to. Mind you, I will say that it feels like, at least um, from what I've experienced so far, that this game kind of doesn't do subtle movements as much. Like, you know, it doesn't move an obvious cup from one end of the table to another. It does do that less. And more just kind of like removes objects. Rather than having any kind of movement now by the sixth one, it, I think. I can't recall anything that like, so like this plunger being moved somewhere, like over here instead. Like it doesn't seem like this one does that as much. Which I don't know if that's like a good or bad thing. Oh, the door's open. Uh, is that actually like a... Okay, no, I just have to report it normally. You almost wouldn't think that that was a thing. Kind of blends in really well. Flush toilet. <laughs> Press the button. Again, I'm also being spoiled. Because I can interact with stuff in Midnight Monitor. It's a fun little extra thing to do. I don't think anything else has changed in here. Or here. At least I don't think so. Wait, is that an eyeball? Oh, wait, is that the cap? No, what is that? 
Oh. That was subtle. I've never seen that before. Holy. Hello, hello. Oh my god, hi. Well then. Didn't know he could spawn here. <laughs> I've only encountered him another time in a different level. I didn't realize that he could spawn in this one. Jeez. Okay. Everything else looks fine. Haven't received the warning yet, so I think I'm on top of it. I think. Has anything changed here? Let me just check a few locations. I think we're okay, but I just wanted to double check. And that mug, I think, was always there, but I'll check anyway. In case it's moved. Okay, we're good there. Okay. Uh, oh, hello. Oh my god. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Jeez, you blend in. I honestly think that my my observation duty game for vr chat got escalated like it the shadow creatures really elevated the shock factor when it comes to like because i feel like that's what this game is trying to do right the, the, the idea of this these types of games is that you have to remember they're like sure they are mild but they are horror games right like it's the idea of them anyway um and so you you basically have these scenarios in which you know you're looking for small details that have changed and this is probably where the uh, curated stuff really shines oh what the hell right <laughs> and you have little things that you're trying to keep an eye on right like just these little changes that you need to focus on to then get you with big things like that right and uh, I guess, I suppose this game does pretty good at that. I, I've definitely run into a lot of creatures <laughs> in my time. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the part where it gets you. And I think that's where the shadow creatures of my one really kind of shine a bit more because... Uh, not, not more than this, but in terms of, like, make the overall experience better because, you know... You're looking for these plates and these cutlery things that are moving and suddenly there's, like, this weird thing in your face... You're like, oh my god. <laughs> Was that always there? I don't actually remember. Okay, yes. Gaslighting myself again. Oh, those observation duty games. Gotta gaslight yourself. <laughs> no, this was always the same. This is always... Yeah, nothing's changed here. <laughs> Everything has changed. <laughs> You're just not opening your eyes. Oh! That's you! Ah, oh, sorry. What is in there? But, uh, yeah, I've learned a lot when it comes to observation duty games. Games. <laughs> And, uh, you know, how much it takes and how much effort it takes to actually make them balanced and interesting. So it kind of makes me look at these games in a different light sometimes. And probably why I appreciate 5 quite a lot in comparison. After playing 6... I might do a stream of five at some point again, because I'm curious if my opinions would stick. I think that's normal. I just don't... That blends in very well, so I didn't remember if that was actually there or not before. 
Uh, this all looks fine. Oh, this has changed. Yeah. Uh, that looks okay. World Smile Day. Put a smile on your face. I do remember one of the changes that might screw me up is in the first car, in the passenger's car, they can add an extra monitor here. And then, you know, you know it looks normal, right? But then you're like, wait. Is it usually a full set? <laughs> There's not usually a full set up there. And that's how they get you. And I mean, I kind of use similar tactics, right? The amount of people that swear a plate shouldn't be on the floor, <laughs> but the, you know, the place is kind of untidy and they've, they were in a party. And so, yeah, some people just kind of leave stuff lying around and it fools people. They're like, yeah, the plate shouldn't be on the floor. Turns out it was on the floor the whole time. Someone's very slowly shaking up the Coke. <laughs> All right, two more hours to go. We're doing okay at keeping anomalies at bay. I'm keeping an eye out for more subtle ones, like Ones that try and hide themselves in plain sight. I wonder if any of these can change. Because I've only gone through and beaten these stages once before, so I don't exactly know all the... Oh, the cup's gone. I don't know all the small details that can happen. Now, I only recognize that because I, you know, did that... Oh, has the cup moved before? If I hadn't have messed with that... What the hell is this? What is it? I don't know. Something glowing inside? I don't even know where it came from. <laughs> hmm. 420. No, 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 no. I've only dipped into hard mode slightly. So I don't actually know what else it does. And I'm curious to try it out. So I'm probably going to do that for YouTube. Because I do enjoy me some observation duty games. If that wasn't obvious already, I've, <laughs> I've played a lot of them on my channel now. Even made one myself. Hello? Anybody here? Anybody gonna jump out of hell? I <laughs> you have no eyes. I never noticed that before. Yeah, you're like too far back in shadow. At least from my monitor to see that he had no eyes. Okay. I had to check something there. I think that was always there, so that's good. That's all good. Was there something here? I don't think there was, but I'll check. Okay, now we're good there. Footprints! That's subtle, but kind of cool. I do like that. That's neat. Okay. This looks fine. Kind of like half expecting something to happen on the outside of the train, too. I don't know how common that is. 
<laughs> it could just be that these are just images. Which would be very optimized, actually. But I don't know. I don't know how, like... How much they rely on depth of field. I do think they are images. Like, given this angle, I think they are... Hello! Sorry, I'm gonna interrupt you. Uh... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... <laughs> It's like, how could you report me? I was taking a shit. Like, what the hell? Rude. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I must do my mission. Whoops. Fat finger, my right mouse. Click. Oh, hang on. I got to flush the toilet for him. There you go. Press the button. <laughs> Hello. Artist. There we go. You weren't reading. Come on now. You were actually- Oh my god! What the hell? We've been seeing a lot of intruders this time around. Oh yeah, this does do one thing. There we go. Now we have ambience. The last hour does actually give you ambience. Which does make things kind of tense, I'm not gonna lie. But it would be cool to have more like low consistent ambience and then it ramps up in the last hour like this. That'd be nice, I think. Just a little of something extra. Because pure silence now, I'm kind of getting past that point where I, <laughs> where I'm like, oh yeah, it adds, you know, tension and then something happens and it's all of a sudden, but like, hello. <laughs> but I'd actually like some sort of like even low droning, right? Would be nice. Personal preference, of course. Not everyone's going to agree with me and I get that. It's like, you know. What do you think? I'd be curious what you think. If if you think that these kind of games benefit from from being silent. I'd actually like to know. That'd be pretty cool. I do also like the ambient choices here. Very atmospheric. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Lights in the bathroom. Because, like, if you imagine, right, <laughs> this is happening, you just see that guy lurching towards you. In that, in the, uh, cafe car. That'd be freaky. I actually need to go and look up all the ways to, like, die from intruders in this game, because I like doing that for the previous. Because a lot of the time, the intruders can end your experience. And, uh... Yeah, I'd like to know to, to like, find a video that's catalogued them all, because I was able to find them for the previous games. I assume someone's done it for this one, too. What do you think they got in their sandwiches? Maybe like tuna mayo? I don't know, it seems a bit kind of too white for me, that, like for that. Or it could be like a pate maybe. I think we've done pretty good. <laughs> oh, okay. Imminent collision! Oh, you know what would have been so cool? I know that they have some anomalies that when you're fixing them, they do something right before it fixes. It would have been cool if you did that, and then suddenly you see a train go, and then it, like, disappears. Like, that would have been so cool. And kind of terrifying. Because you wouldn't expect it. Things are ramping up at the end here. 
Only about 15 more minutes in game for us to go. Oh, hello, ghost. Freaky ghost. Invisible man. Sleeping in your bed. Freaky ghost bed. Actually played some of this for the uh, the Halloween month. Very fun. Very enjoyable. Of course, I played the scariest thing around October. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. I think we've won. Even if I were to get the warning now, I don't think there'd be time to spawn in any anomalies. Oh, oh. Do, do, do. Ooh. Well, yeah, no, we'll try and fix it. Oh, I made it. <laughs> 27 anomalies. Seems a little on the low end. Right? Now, one of the things I have changed is if you fail, you can actually see, it will tell you what you've missed. And I like it now that when, I mean, part of it is just like, uh, you know, you reveal it. it. It's not, it doesn't tell you exactly what you missed, but just in the rooms of like what it was. So yeah, you missed something in the passenger's car, for example. It won't tell you what it was. It's just like you, at least I don't think it does. I don't remember. But either way, it does tell you. And that's cool. I like that. I like that it's also a choice. You have to click a button to be able to see it. Just in case, you know, you're one of those people that don't want where things are ch being changed, spoiled, I guess. But either way, that is the first video of what I assume is going to be many of I'm on Observation Duty 6. If you would like to see more, two will be linked in the end site here. Click on one of those to continue watching. But until next time, take care. Okay, thanks. Bye.